Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratus, and welcome to the Far East. Phil's joining me, aren't you, Phil? Hmm? What What was the Via last Skype. time? Uh, eh? Via Skype, that is. Not not in game, I should stress. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, go, I'm go a, ahead. I'm, I'm in game. What, am I actually in the in this yeah, game? Yeah, you're actually in the game. Right. You're an NPC. I don't want to do that because I'm not very good with survival. <laughs> uh, we haven't done Forest in a while. We have haven't, we? no. no. I think not, the not last for... one was February. Sometime around February there. Was, oh, oh God. It's February, March, somewhere around there, when we last played and all that. So yeah, we're just back here for another uh, chill out episode. Me and the old Phil here. Yes, yeah. I think uh, I think actually, to be honest, I might have a good little uh, discussion. Oh, okay. Uh, good little good, good thing we can. Uh, I can't remember what was the topic last time. I think it's something related with horror. Horror. Ooh. I think we were thinking about last time, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we were. I think that's what we did last time. But we might as well talk since it's. Um, um, We've had been having summer, haven't we? Indeed. It's uh, the end of end of August now. Um, coming to the the end of August, the start of old September. September. The, uh, the time yes. when uh, all the uh, school kids are going to be like, oh, because <laughs> I think they've only got they've only got a week left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because most most schools start on the start of September. I remember going back usually around about the third of September. We usually used to go back. Mm. Um, there were some schools that uh, started on a Wednesday, like. What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> Why start midweek if you're going to start? Yeah. There was one school, yeah. I don't think it was us, but there's one school I knew near us that started on Thursday. Oh, God. Like, what the hell? Yeah. You've got two days, and then you've got another two days off. Yeah, it just seems an odd time to do a restart of the new term and all that. How very peculiar. Just get it started on a Monday so you've got them used to back in. But, yeah, all, all the kids will be going, uh, and all the mums will be taking them out going, right. Back to school shopping, come on. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, mum, do we have to? Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got to get your new gear because you've grown out of it. Yeah, I've just realised this is new. You can actually change the size of the gardens by like dragging the schematic thing around. I didn't realise that was a thing that was now in this game. I Making always them they bigger. Were, yeah, I always Dude. thought they were just sort of, uh, you know, certain size. All right, well, let's do that then. Make them bigger now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, nice uh, yeah, all the, uh, do you remember those days of having to uh, oh, I get remember. your new uniform? Yeah. Pepperidge Farm oh. remembers, yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, a meme reference. <laughs> yes. Going back to the old days um, of uh, getting all your school gear, um, packing up, and then uh, having to get all the various you know, new pencil cases and pencils and all that. I remember having a pencil case. Yeah. Uh, getting your clothes and then your books, your necessary stuff. It's, it's also... Um, annoying for the parents because it's it's quite expensive yeah it new is school gear new school yeah. gear is quite expensive i was listening to um uh, someone on the radio who's mm. got who had kids and she was talking about getting a uh, new school uniform for the kids it was about 90 quid Oof. god uh, yeah did you uh, say how many kids she had uh two i think two god wow. yeah so you had to get quite a bit two Oof. kids and not only that you got to get not only normal clothes for like that you got to get PE kits yeah you know, well, that's the thing yeah it's like PE kits like the, the base uniforms and you probably like yeah. need to get things like aprons as well for things like DT do food tech yeah, yeah. Food and, tech and all the various like pencil cases and pencils and rubbers and glue sticks oh god I remember having those oh, you always had the Pritt stick because yeah. you always had to glue things into your into your workbook indeed you did yeah get yes. the Pritt stick on them glue them into your workbook guys yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you ever have to uh, back your books in like a? Oh yeah, back your plastic. books. That was the thing. Yeah. Back your books, but yeah, that's not the the main topic. But of course, that that's going to be happening. So all the school kids are going to be because they've just had a lovely six weeks off. Yeah. So they're going to be wanting. They're not going to be wanting to go back to school. Even more were... so, it's going, it's going to be a scary experience for those um, going from primary to secondary yeah. school. Ooh. I don't know if you just noticed, but it started thundering and lightning in game as we as we started talking about that. Phil, it's like the perfect weather, <laughs> the perfect Ominous. weather fallacy for this topic of conversation. <laughs> Ominous, nice. but uh, yeah. yes, but I think we should uh, have a little discussion about um, what we've been doing over the over the holidays. Obviously, yeah. um, uh, I've I've still been working because um, it's you, do, you don't have like big breaks in, in jobs yeah. you do in there. Uh, uh, but you've obviously the job you're in because you work as a lecturer. Yeah. Uh, you get to break up with the with the uh, students. Yes. Uh, which is good. But um, um, so yeah. I've just been planning away as normal, really. But uh, enjoying the the weather while I've been having it. I mean, yes, there's been some days where it's been raining, but there's been some days where we've had nice weather. Yeah. It's been rather warm, which Not is a bit unfortunate. Too bad. It's going to turn soon. Though I will say. Um, when I was driving back down south um, after visiting friends and family up north. Yes, because you've been coming up here. Yeah, you're yeah. Up when I was driving back, um, there was a point 
just sort of south of Preston up till about somewhere just before Sandback Services, where the weather was atrocious. There was just a massive cloudburst. It could come to, yeah, sometimes they happen, but usually they're short, aren't they? They're usually um, short, but this one was awful because obviously when you're driving on the motorway at speed, you don't want that kind of weather because it just, the visibility goes down to an absolute crawl. Uh, absolute, sorry, not crawl. Um, the visibility just drops like crazy. Yeah, well, as if, you got, if your wipers are working good, then yeah. you'll be high. Indeed. Uh, keep them. But, uh, yeah, so... As long as you keep that going, that's fine. But unfortunately, um, it's definitely, uh, I've noticed it's definitely darker. Yeah. Uh, it gets darker a lot lot quicker. Indeed. Uh, it's not, it's still dark when you get up. It used to be really light. It did indeed used uh, to be, but, <laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, British summertime on the way out already. <laughs> yeah, and, and yes. it's going to start getting colder and colder. It's still, it's still reasonably nice and warm at the moment. Yeah. But it will. Um, Indeed, indeed. Although there was that time where we had um, uh, an Indian summer yeah. a couple of years ago, and it was like really warm right up until uh, the middle of October. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, pretty crazy, but, um, well, you know, it wasn't uh, too bad. I mean, um, it's just annoying, obviously. Well, I say annoying, not, not that annoying, but it's just obviously with uh, summers like that, it can just be a little bit uncomfortable. But then again, you, sh you know, I think like you always say, Phil, you should be grateful when it's good weather, because um, yeah, here in Britain we, we don't get, get it too weather. often. No. <laughs> yeah. no, not Indeed. at all. We yeah. always get around weather. But yes, uh, today is a bank holiday, yeah. uh, which most of the countries don't have. So, And funnily enough, it's the last bank holiday before Christmas. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Yeah, only how, however many days it is till Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas, yeah. Um, yeah. But there wasn't really much at my... But you, you, ha you had a bit of a, a summer, because you came back, didn't you? Yeah. To visit your family and Indeed. see how the uh, how they're getting on and what what's happening in their lives because you the last time was Easter wasn't it Yeah, Easter, that. Easter. That's right. Um, but yeah, I mean uh, everyone seems to be getting on fine, um, and we you know had an opportunity to go out to some nice places while there's uh, yeah you always do you always do go to some nice places. Yeah, um, make make the most of it while you can. Yeah, so we went to like Grangeover Sands, uh, which is on one side of Morecambe Bay. We went to um, Kirby Lonsdale. Um, up towards Cumbria, it was a uh, yeah, it was very nice. A nice uh, place up is Kirby Lonsdale, and yeah. of course your obligatory Clitheroe. Clitheroe trip, yeah. yeah, always go to Clitheroe. It's a lovely place to go. If you're ever in the uh, northwest of England, it's Clitheroe, yeah, very nice. lovely, absolutely. Did you have your obligatory? Because yeah, usually when you come over, you usually have um, with your with your parents a pub lunch. Um, did we have a pub lunch uh, actually? Uh, hang on, did we did we have a pub lunch? Uh, no, we actually we didn't. We oh, did, didn't. That, we didn't. That's, that's strange. Different. That is, yeah. Usually you do. <laughs> yeah, usually we do, uh, but not this time. Apparently, uh, I don't think we did. No, I don't think we did actually no. do that, which is uh, quite something. Pub lunch for you, but the most important one was you came to visit me. You yes. Came to see me, <laughs> and we went for a lovely little walk around the area to catch up. We went to Costa for a lovely uh, coffee. Oh, yes. Um and then we uh, ended it with a nice little Indian restaurant meal. Indeed, which we was did. Very good. Yeah, it was actually a real good restaurant, Phil. I'm glad you uh, suggested that one. I know. It was quite busy as well. Just to show you how the, uh, that it is, yeah. it must be good as well. And we had um, some nice. Well, I had some salmon tikka. Salmon oh, tikka. Mm. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I've been researching as well at other Indian restaurants, and I can't see any other that does salmon yeah. it's all prawn 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 and this one as well as does salmon it does other uh, fish I think there was sea bass Yeah, <laughs> uh, it does as well um, I think it did something else uh, I can't remember, but see, but it was it, oh, it was really good. The salmon tikka. Yeah, and it's just a shame that not no other Indian restaurants delve into doing salmon. Indeed, and yeah. just stick with prawn because that's the basic, that's the normal thing. That everyone goes with prawn yeah. for seafood, <laughs> seafood related stuff. But yeah, the salmon was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, when you go have an Indian, when you have an Indian meal, you have to have the works. You can't have an Indian meal without naan bread and poppadom. Poppadoms and naan bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. That, was that was very nice as well. Oh yes, it was so good. I mean, I I just had you know your sort the of deep box salt boring chicken tikka. Oh, you can't beat a good chicken tikka though, Phil. You can. Salmon tikka. True. <laughs> but, there's, but, also, you know. there's also there's right because you can get lamb, can't yeah. you? There's lamb, duck tikka, um, king prawn. Yeah. <laughs> They're the basics you get. Indeed. 
But uh, yeah, it was a good meal. A great restaurant. We'll have to go back there sometime. Um, oh, not only that, which we found was good. Because sometimes when you go to Indian restaurants, you're worried like, oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna be like huge. But no, portion sizes were decent. Yeah, they were just right. Yeah, the the, the, t- the tikka that we got, we both got, were of decent sizes. Yeah. Yeah, and we got a a, a, a big bowl of rice, but it was for two people. Yeah. So. Though in future, I think uh, we should order fewer poppadoms. Cause, uh, yeah, we ordered too many poppadoms. Yeah. We, we got four. We yeah. should have only got like two. Which, uh, yeah, four sounds like not much, but the problem is they're like dinner plate sized, so they're really big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, in future, I think two we'll have to we'll do, yeah. probably. Um, yeah, that's best. Yeah. That, that's, a lot, that's a lot better. Yeah. But it was it was very, very tasty. Indeed very tasty. It was. It's always nice to have a, a little meal like that. And um, and what else was good was, oh, my God, the, the service was quick. It was quick. It was very like, quick. As soon as we sat down, before we'd only just put bums on seats. And like, do you want what, what drinks do you want? And like, uh, ooh, we haven't even seen drinks menu, but uh, <laughs> yeah. and then and then they and then they were like, uh, we ordered some poppadom, and they came ridiculously quick. They did, yeah. And, oh, and the dips, oh, the dips, nice were good. dips. Yeah, yeah, it's always the same. Uh, sort of dips you get you get the uh, cucumber writer the onion writer yeah. uh, the sort of um sweet um red dip i've, yeah. I've, I've always noticed that one um you get like a, a minty dip mm. uh, mango chutney of course that's one of the ones and yeah. then um uh yeah th- those are the, the dips those the are the usual one, you yeah. get mm. god they were good that red one the sweet red one was so yeah. delicious I'll we'll go for some of that right now, or whatever it was. <laughs> and like I said, we both haven't had an Indian in ages, so it's really good to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to, to have, have that. Yeah. Um, proper yeah. good cuisine. Yeah. Oof. God, I've got to chop down the, a lot of trees here, Phil, because I need to gather about 39 logs. <laughs> 39. The funny yeah. thing was, we were actually um, taking a bit too long on the poppadom. Yeah. Because they were like, can we bring the main meal out now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I think they were a bit sort of unsure, so they were like, are you ready for your main meals? And we were like, oh, yeah, 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 we are yeah, ready yeah. for them. Yeah, so we just pushed it to the yeah. side, we kept the poppadom, yeah, but... Yeah, fantastic. Good India is an Indian meal, um, and it's a good little, uh, good little trick. Because, unfortunately, I've... I've uh, said the last few times you've come oh we'll try it oh we'll try it and then unfortunately things have, have, have turned where um, we weren't able to do it yeah. we managed to get it done this time we did and that was good um, just made for something really different really good to actually do Indeed. yeah it was because we, we didn't use that. I remember when you used to come to my house it'd always be the pizza hut or yeah. Domino's or yeah Order oh I don't, I don't I don't think about those those uh, pizza joints anymore no. I found that uh, Sainsbury's Sainsbury's yeah. barbecue chicken pizza I oh, no. That's so much better than Domino's and Pizza Hut. So much yeah. better. I think I'm thinking about my maybe having one of those tomorrow. Ooh, hey, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm nipping into Sainsbury's and getting that because um, it's really good. But yeah, we've uh, you've had a bit more of a um, an interesting summer than I have because I've just carried on plugging away. Yeah. But I've been to see my family. They're getting a kitchen mm. extension done. Nice. Uh, yeah. And I've been to see my sister. And my niece, so everything's everything's going away. But now my parents have gone. Yeah, uh, gone to um, on their big trip to France, mm. going over to uh, they're staying in in Kent at the moment. Kent until yeah. Tuesday. Until the Tuesday they're going to be taking the ferry. Yeah, yeah. and they're going over to uh, Biarritz as well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. So uh, yeah, I mean France uh, probably will be very very nice, I imagine. Um, it's a very nice area, yeah. Yeah. They'd stock up on croissants, can't Croissant. they? Croissants. <laughs> mm-hmm. Le croissant, French le baguette. Cuisine. Yes. French cuisine is, is quite good, yeah. Indeed. It looks a bit like you're. Um, are, you, are you Santa there? I know. It's Santa like... with his sleigh. <laughs> yeah. I try to see if I get it up the hill, but uh, it doesn't look like it goes up. So I have to just do this, chop down the trees up here, and just ferry the logs back down to it. Yeah, cut it through. Uh, it looks like um, the the graphics for cutting trees seem a, lot, a bit more smoother. Yeah, don't they? they yeah, probably the had some uh, good improvements since I really last played this game. And right. still, you have not played the sequel. I still haven't. No, I need to. Forest. I need to buy it. That's what I need to do. It's a different <laughs> style, though. Yeah. Um, from what I've heard, it's a, I think it's a lot more horror-y, mm. and uh, you actually play as I think it's someone in the military. Yeah. I've heard uh, interesting things about it. Uh, yeah, it's good to look at the reviews, though. Yeah. And not just the reviews from critics. Oh, I hope. Uh, reviews from users as well, because yeah. they're... As you say, it's like thundering and lightning again in-game. Yeah, but a little bit frightening. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder and lightning, a little bit frightening. Nice. A little bit frightening. Yes. 
Indeed. So when are you due to come back again? Is it going to be Christmas? Christmas, yeah. I think that's when I'll be back up. That's and I'm sorry to up. say, guys, no, we're not doing a Sir Christmas special. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, we've done uh, we've we've done enough, and it gets a bit boring to work. It's the same old thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe one day we'll do a Christmas special where one of us goes. Actually, this year I went to Jamaica for Christmas. <laughs> Jamaica um, specifically, eh? <laughs> yeah. Some people do that though on the Christmas, don't they? They yeah. go and have like a, a a beach holiday. They go abroad, do something yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, people do that. There's some people who just really, really don't want to cook and go to a pub. Pubs make a killing because mm. uh, there's loads of pubs that do their own, you know, Christmas lunches. Yeah. Because uh, some people who just can't cook, won't cook, or you know, might have disabilities. They don't, they, they don't have the the means to to cook. Yeah. So that's why the pubs offer these services. Indeed, yeah. Gosh, yes. I just uh, that got me thinking though about my works Christmas do um, last Christmas, and it was really enjoyable. That was. Yeah, it is. we didn't have one. Like we're having one this time. Yeah. It's quite early. We're having it on the twenty fourth of November. Oh, okay. That that is quite early. Yeah. It's quite early. It's very but early. But it's always fact. fun. Uh, yeah, I do like a Christmas do. Indeed. Time to celebrate. Be with a few work colleagues and see how much getting on. Aye. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Oh, Jesus, gosh, my sled was oh, going all oh. over the place then. <laughs> yeah, we had an incident last time where you lost a log in the water. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember. Indeed, something bad happened, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm about to go in the water there. Jesus. Yeah, you've got to get the traps going because of the um, the tribesmen, yeah. the cannibals. Just thinking I need to build really like a defensive wall behind my uh, defensive spikes with a gate in it, and then I'll probably build some more traps out over here, some more happy birthday traps. So that way I can say happy birthday to the evil tribesmen when they attack me. Happy birthday, me. even though it's uh, no one's birthday for a while. Yeah. I'm trying to think um, who's the next birthday in our family. It'd probably be, I think my mum is uh, October yeah. time. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Um, I have to get some prezzies for her and all that. I will when it comes there. And then, and then more prezzies for Christmas. Oh, my God, it never ends. Christmas, indeed, yes. Christmas, yes. The time... Well, one has a lot of fun. It's 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 very family time. It's Christmas. Indeed. Um, but uh, yeah, we've had, we've uh, we have had well we, the the uh, um, most time when it was really hot was. Do you remember June? Oh yes. Oh my God, that was some of those some of those were quite horrendous. I mean, we got up to like thirty two degrees. Like ooh. yeah. At that point, <laughs> it's like oh no, this is a bit too hot now. Oh God, I've set myself on fire, Jesus. Oh, have I? That one, you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't, no, because you'd be all over the screen. Yeah, for a second, he made the uh, pain noise as though he was... <laughs> pain noise, no. Yeah. yeah, but June was... was um, there were, and then there was rumours that we were getting a heat wave, but that never came. No, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> I think the reason that the UK gets those spikes of really hot weather is because I think it blows in from the Sahara mm. or comes in from Africa. Yeah. Uh, the way it blows, because we're, we're, we're not that far from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Look at our, the uh, the famous Makata map. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's why it can get really hot because the winds blow. Yeah. <laughs> um, there we go, stocking up on Molotovs, Phil. There we are. Molotovs, yes. Ah. The, the annoying thing is I can't sleep yet because the uh, cool down on the shelter is still. It's a bit silly that anyway. it's a cool down element. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's to stop you just skipping the night. Yeah, just skipping to today yeah. all the time. Indeed. Because they, this is where the this is where the horror element comes in at night. Yeah. Now the annoying thing is because it's um, raining in game, I can't really stray too far from my fire before my character gets cold and wet. Because obviously uh, exposure is a thing in this game yeah. that you have to watch out for. Exposure. Yes. Ooh, not one. Well, at least the exposure element's not as bad as the long dark. Oof, I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a game I've not come back to in a long, long time. God, yeah. Well, well it'd be nice to go back. I wonder if, the, uh, yeah. if we can uh, give the uh, give the wheel some money. Yeah. But <laughs> we don't bring it up. Or is... Problem is, the long darp is uh, long darp. I said the long darp then. The long derp. Yeah, the long the, derp. <laughs> yeah, the long derp. That's me right now. Uh, the long dark. The only issue I have with that is that it's one of those games that's so in depth and so unforgiving that. If I'm going to play it, I'd, I'd probably want to actually do it yeah. as a proper regular series rather than as like yeah. one-off little bonus. One-off little thing. Yeah. But <clears throat> Green Hell. Green um, Hell, yeah. <laughs> That's supposed to be nightmarishly difficult. Yeah, worse than uh, the Long Dark. Indeed. Fucking birds. Are you? Blimey, I don't think you should be doing that. <laughs> I know. 
bestiality. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. So vulgar, Phil, so vulgar. You are vulgar, aren't you? Wow. Stop being so vulgar, Andrew. One bird is inside the other. You oh. say I'm the vulgar one. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> beg your pardon. Yes, indeed. Uh, that cooldown is nearly over. Nearly over. I'm just th hoping if I could ideally try and sleep the night. Oh, oh I've got an interesting question for you. Yeah? Uh, because the, usually sometimes this occur occurs with you. On your way um, here and, and back to... Did you get any... Uh, because you've had some strange drivers sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Did you get any, um, anyone this time, or was it all relatively nice and nice no, and event-free? It, it was relatively event-free, actually, Good. which is fortunate. Because, um, yes, yeah, yeah, it's nice. you do get bad drivers who are just really shit. Well, um, don't I know it. Yeah. I mean, it was for me, it was all fine driving to to your house, but driving back home, oh dear, I had oh, yes. I did have a bit of a driver incident, didn't I? You did. I had a bloody big lorry crash into me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I know. But having said that, you know, mechanic did a very good job of actually oh, fixing your car. Oh my God! Yeah, they uh, they fixed my car. Eight thousand pound worth Oof. of damage. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks as though it was never hit. Yeah. It's perfect. Indeed. Which um. Is you know real good job. They've done a hell yeah. of a good good job on that. Done a fantastic say. job. Yeah. yeah, I had to pay in excess, but I'm hoping to get that back at yeah. some point from my insurance. Absolutely. Uh, I'll give it. Um, and that's exactly why why you need uh, need to have insurance. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. But you know, thankfully that accident, you know, didn't uh, turn out bad in terms of there were no injuries. Well, yeah. Well, it hit the, luckily injuries. it hit the passenger side and there were no one in there because there, if I had passengers, I think they were have been going yeah, to hospital. Probably. Um, so we can be thankful for that, fortunately. Yeah. But yeah. we'll get it all sorted out. Yeah. But oh God, yeah, it's like, especially like having a crash on the motorway, it's just the last place you want to have any sort of accident. Yeah, because it's all high speeds. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, man. But yes. But yeah, no, no, the drive back down south was quite smooth. Um, yeah. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I set off at like 10 to 7 in the morning, so... 10 to 7. How many stops yeah. do you usually have? I usually just do the one. Um, you do one? Yeah, okay. about the halfway mark. I usually um, stop off at Hilton Park service station, which I did this time around. I stopped off and I just went to Greg's and got myself a uh, sausage balm and a hot chocolate. Just because yeah, I was a bit no, hungry. it's good. It just yeah. keeps self fueled because um, when you're doing that. Yeah, most times I've come to you, I, I sometimes have two stops uh, yeah. just to to refresh because I, I when i come early i just first stop i just get go into um because some some of them have a costa so yeah. i just go and get coffee um a nice uh, nice little coffee and then uh um i might just stop again for another little stretch of the legs yeah. i must say though uh, <laughs> it's the first time though that i have uh actually bought something from Greg's in years. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I remember wow. as, um, when I was back up at Lancaster University as a student, I um, would sometimes just nip into Greg's all the time just to get a pasty or something for lunch. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. They are good at Greg's stuff. Especially their, I, I do like their baguettes. Mm. They do some good baguettes. Good baguettes, um, yes. As well. And but a yeah, good uh, range of different go. pastries. Yeah, so uh, first time I've had a great sausage baguette in uh, quite some time. <laughs> little sausage roll, yeah. They do all sorts of little, all sorts of pass, isn't they? Like steak bake. Steak bake's one of their famous. Chicken yeah. mushroom. The funny thing is, they don't actually do Cornish pasties. No, they don't, do Which they? Which is weird. You would think, you know, Cornish, one of the, one of the major pasties of the UK, you'd yeah. think they'd do that, but... But no, apparently they don't. They just, uh, What's the most famous? Oh, uh, uh, Ginsters or Ginsters. Ginsters, um, yeah. Is the one that... Um, yeah. Does the uh, Cornish pasty now? They're good, against yeah. us. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Uh, some good brands of them out there. I always remember. Oh, you know what I saw the other day when I was oh. in ASDA. Yeah. Which are mine because you used to absolutely love them when you used to live with your parents. ASDA's chicken tikka oh, pasties. Those things, yeah. Yeah. And then you, then, then I think, uh, no, I, no, I think I, I thought you said they um, they uh, stopped doing them, but no, I think you went off them. Didn't I you? went off them because I think I don't know if they like, changed an aspect of the recipe or something, but. There was a point where suddenly they just didn't seem as good, or I don't know, I just didn't find them as tasty as I used to. So either something in the recipe changed, or maybe my taste buds just evolved. Yeah, yeah. Well, I saw that and I thought, oh, maybe I should give it a whirl yeah. at some point. Indeed, well. indeed. I always remember though. I think Greg's did like a vegetable korma pasty. I don't know if they still do. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> yes. I haven't heard of that one. No. No. Uh, 
It might be an old one that uh, maybe continued. I know they do have the, I don't when know. it gets to the, um, like at Easter and Christmas, they do do like special bakes, yeah. don't they? Festive um, veg bakes and things. <laughs> I'll tell you what they, what they do bring out um, that I've tried. They're a pigs in blanket baguette. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Now that's what you do. Uh, you do need to heat. Well, they heat it for you to start with, but you can obviously put it in the microwave. But yeah, it's like bacon, and, and they've got stuffing in there with with little uh, sausages. It's really, really good. Yeah. That <laughs> I like yeah. when because the trying out the uh, supermarket's Christmas sandwiches. Yeah, it's always good. Let's see what they've got. I know what you're thinking, ladies and gents, watching this. You know. You think to yourself, my goodness, uh, what sophisticated, refined palates you have. But you know what? Sometimes we just want wholesome food rather than anything necessarily fancy. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have fancy stuff, but yeah. I mean, you know, not going to expect us to be uh, consuming, you know, caviar and truffles. Indeed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just want a, you know, nice big bacon and sausage fattening bat or something. Although it would be funny to try, uh, see what the, what the fuss is all about, you know, caviar and lobster yeah. and, and, and um, truffles and see what it's all about. Indeed. But to be honest, if you're gonna if if if, if you say truffles, I much prefer the chocolate variety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same here. <laughs> but well, who knows? Yeah. The, the truffle could be. Apparently they're uh, sniffed out by pigs. Pigsies, yes. Yeah, they're going to sniff the bot. Who knows? They could be absolutely amazing, or they could be awful. Um, but other? no doubt, I, I would probably like caviar yeah. because it's fish, and I've got a big thing for fish. You got that big hankering for fish, haven't you, Phil? Oh, it's uh, row egg, row, isn't it? That's it. That's yeah. what caviar is. Row, fish eggs. Le fichu eggs, yes. Fish eggs. That's it. Well, yeah, getting. Uh, Freshly built here, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> all uh, all being built to protect yourself from the maniacs. Indeed. Coming to eat you and cannibalise your body. I just wonder, yeah, if I get this wall complete in this video. You're struggling to get over there, aren't I know. you? I <laughs> Because I need to sort of... I just don't want to have to go round the birthday trap, that's all. Because, uh, just, I don't know. Does it spring it jump over. go in it? I think it does, yeah. Ah. Which is a bit of an unfortunate thing, but hey, it's a defence and it's necessary. Right, I think, yeah, just get these logs in. I think uh, maybe we should wrap up. Yeah. Uh, just get, once you've got these logs in. Yeah. Whee! Oh, God, this is better. Go. Maybe this is the next uh, Olympic game, jumping over, the, <laughs> jumping over the spikes. Yeah, jump well, over the wooden spikes. Oh, that's coming soon as well. Oh, yes. The next Olympic. Yeah, that'll be next year. That's come around really fast, because obviously Indeed. it was delayed. It was. Due to um, some event. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Some, some event that wasn't that significant. <laughs> Um, but yeah. yeah, that's coming. Uh, that's going to be coming next year yeah. with the new sport of breakdancing. So break brilliant. Dancing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we just need another eight logs. If I chop down two more trees, that should give okay. us enough. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be uh, next year. That. Uh, well, yeah, it'll be about July time, and it's in Paris, so we don't have to worry about all the times. You know, yeah. and, uh, wake up early or go to bed late, or because they're on silly, silly time zones. <laughs> Silly time zones, you say, Phil? Silly time zone, yeah. Yeah. But breakdancing's a bit weird. Indeed. Um, well, you know, I can I can understand breakdancing being in because it is probably quite physically, you know, yeah. onerous. You know, it, it, compared to something like esports, which has been proposed before, <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I'd been. rather see I'd, I'd rather see breakdancing in the Olympics. <laughs> it would be interesting though to watch yeah. some esports though in the Olympics. Indeed. And now the uh, Belgian team coming up to play Dota. <laughs> yeah. Against the Angolan team. <laughs> oh, I can hear a uh, ice cream truck somewhere in the uh, outside. Oh, I don't see out and about, are they? Yeah. Not yeah, that God, I haven't uh, had an ice cream from an ice cream truck yeah. in, a in ages. I've had an ice cream, but not from a truck. No. I haven't had an ice cream truck ice cream for a long time either. I know, it'll be nostalgic just going for like the default 99. Yeah. I would Mr. Whippy. Mr. Whippy. That's a little interesting fact. Do you know why the 99 is called the 99? Oh, is it because it was 99p? Yeah, it used to yeah. be because it used to be 99p, but yeah. now, of course, everything, all, all, all because of inflation. Indeed. It's now 199. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Probably yeah. more than that, like the Freddos. Nope. We don't talk Give about lot, Freddos. Not the, yeah, there we are. Yeah, we don't talk about Freddos, no, do we? we don't. We don't talk about Freddo. Mr. Freddo. After he uh, went up in price. Oh, I got an extra yes. log out of this one. Nice. Oh my God, who who gave you that? I know. The log gods were uh, smiling upon me there. That was pretty good. All right, this should be enough to uh, complete my defensive wall. Look at how I was able to to carry that so smoothly. I know. <laughs> He's got some muscles as this uh, player character. I know. He doesn't need to go to the gym, this guy. No, he doesn't. Indeed. 
Could you imagine if you were playing as a uh, overweight, very physically unfit character? <laughs> It'd make an interesting games. sort of game style, wouldn't it? Yeah. Indeed. And then again, I feel like uh, in most games, your character always feels very physically unfit because, you know, they can only sprint for about two seconds before they immediately are panting. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. well, it's, it's funny that the majority of, uh, of of game movement is usually the characters running. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, if, if, if they did have walking, then it would just be so much of a slog. Yeah, <laughs> it would. It would indeed. Uh, right, four more logs and then we're done here. Boom, boom, two more. There we go, got all the logs in. There we go, and one to spare. Lovely. Yep. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, there we go. Can I squeeze through? No, I can't. Leave us in the comments as well. How's your summer's been? Yeah. You've been there. Uh, a countdown to Christmas begins. Yay. Indeed. Oh, oh. Gate open. Okay. Let's stand on this without triggering it. There we go. That's better. Hey, there we go. Hey, yeah, there you go. Right, nice. well there. Lovely. Lovely. So we'll uh, wrap up here, ladies and gentlemen. That was another episode of The Forest with me and Phil. Actually, we did some good building there. We got ourselves a little garden over here, which is good. I don't know if it's actually things to plant. growing any, any, in, it, in it just yet. But we've also got another uh, aspect of our defence up, which is good. Because it's actually, from uh, those cannibals. At some point, you know, cannibals probably will attack, as you know what this game's like. After a while, you get scouting parties of mutants yep. and things like that. They'll come. They'll get harder and harder. Yeah. Indeed they will. So, thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me, Phil. Tell us about your summers. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Leave your comments below. Facebook under the links are uh, obviously always down below in the video description as usual, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, this is the two of us signing off now, Phil. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Give all the fun stuff. Chomp. Do that. Gimme these two as well. There we go. You know, it's not good to just sort of beat your bitch cat out on the <laughs> Fuck me, it was just a cat. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Who'd have thought that a friggin' cat could be that scary? Ah, uh, you got me good there, game. You didn't even need to do anything overly spooky. You just needed to do that, and that was it. GG. Fucking well done. I'm sure there's worse stuff knocking around here. Note. Just to look at. Right, let me out. Out, please. It's this one. You are good at this. Well, thank you very much. I pride myself on my uh, public sanitation work. I take great pride in it.